made after the result of the ruling was that it was a foul on her instead. Now she'll get it, fires this one. Woods off the pad on the left leg. Game in contest versus a highly touted number three ranked Riverhawks. Now Woods goes down. Makes the play, however. Here's the corner, brought in, sent low, blocked. And then the other opportunity, another one off the... Speaking of the Wildcats, now they have an opportunity. They get it over to Cookman. This could be dangerous, but she skies it well up. Three versus four now as they get into the circle. Just trying to get it through. Almost trying to best not, but unable to do so as that was angled across trying to get a breather. Instead, they've got an opportunity into the circle on the other side of things, and we almost have another goal, but McAteer's there. In from the corner. It's going to be set. Sent over. Low, and it's going to be left of the mark. Low in the third. Now an opportunity potentially there. Rojumov tries to get that, but it careens off the back. Cookman. She sends it over into the circle. It's still loose. Kicked out by Knott, then finally settled. Goes through. Nice stick work there. An opportunity. Fires it high, but off the side. They get this one in. Pulakis into the circle. One on one with Knott. Trying to get it up, but again, a kick save with a left leg. Gets past one defender. Now into the circle. She's got some speed, and there's the goal. New Hampshire gets on the board and breaks the scoreless deadlock as Leah Glidden gets that one past the keeper. That's her seventh goal of the season, and that might be the one that sticks as the number six ranked New Hampshire Wildcats go a little bit more, just trying to get it a little bit better of a look and opportunity. Then finally the strike, the fire, and the goal they were looking for. Rojama. Bear 31 left in the contest now in the overtime session scheduled. This one, Woods blocks it. A nice save there. Bouncing, still stays in the field of play. Back over, still a shot attempt with two seconds. Skies up over the goal and a save by Woods. Now the pass all the way back. And now into the circle, just missing left wide of the mark. Looked like a dangerous opportunity as Over to Tamara. Back to Tasmin, and then that one is going to be knocked by Lacus. Wide open. It's going to be her and the keeper. A chance goes down, but she misses wide right. Just narrowly missing. She had not beat who had already won a goal. Woods goes down. That one again deflected. It looked like it might have hit off the stick of Gemma Woods, who again made herself big on the ground. Here's the first one. Woods comes out of the goal. The attempt here. She is committed. Still down on the turf, and then that one. So now the Wildcats will send number 23, Lindsey Lee. He goes in against Knott. Spins, twirls, misses the mark as well. Not completely awaiting this one. Comes out. Going again, here's a spin, and then another block. 0 for 3 so far out of the gate. We have not seen a goal yet, as the Riverhawks now 0 for 2. Cookman going against another first-year player. Cookman spins just a little bit, almost a hesitation fake, and buries that one of the America East logo in the back. of Berger goes in, going against Woods, hesitation. And off the pad, 0 for 3 now are the Riverhawks. The number three guaranteed that they move on till tomorrow. Here's Whittle going against Knott. And she buries that one through off the logo as well. Now a 2 to nothing. Now Rojima has to take a desperation shot. She'll miss wide. And that as the Riverhawks unable to get any of their four shots through. New Hampshire gets two past Knott. And now we'll see the Wildcats on Friday in the semifinals versus the number two ranked Albany Great Danes. Well, we've had two upsets here in the quarterfinals as the number six seed moves on. And what a performance for them. They led here in the late parts of this contest after they scored a goal in the 55th minute. They did surrender.